There are some odd things that we encounter in this realm. For example, the only constant we experience is change. Things evolve and change all the time, whether it be through life and death, leaves turning different colors according to the seasons, or otherwise. Another odd thing is belief. Our beliefs change as we progress with learning, knowledge, and wisdom. When something we learn doesn't sit comfortably, we experience cognitive dissonance, which means that we either ignore its possible impact new learning and evolve in our education. Yet, what we believe shapes our reality. I'm not just talking of belief in relation to religion or the spiritual, I'm talking of belief in general. For example, we believe the light will turn on when we press the switch, we believe that the kettle will boil when we heat water, and we believe that heat will keep us warm. Our general beliefs shape our lives, our world and reality, yet we forget that we change and can influence our reality. Many have studied and explored the act of faith, which reveals the power we can exert by believing that a particular outcome can be achieved, purely by believing something has already happened before it actually has. The aspect has been given many names over the years, often being reinvented or renamed as the secret, prayer, cosmic ordering, Christianity, orthodox religions, and so on. But the fundamental principle has always remained the same. No belief can change the situation. Like I mentioned earlier, change is a constant, but we are truly aware of, and the universe does explain these changes to us through more subtle ways, as well as obvious means. The most obvious way we notice change is through life itself, yet when it comes to the act of faith, it's not as noticeable until we explore the quantum realm, looking at the insides of atoms and their component parts. In particular, photons show us how faith works. For experiments, we know that they exist, but more than this, we know that they have two modes, wave and particle. Whether or not the light is observed, it always leaves point A and arrives at point B. It seems very crafty, and no matter how you may try to trick a photon, it always knows if it's being observed or not. How is light like the act of faith, I hear you ask? Well, it's really very simple. It simply knows that it is at point B before it even leaves point A, and regardless of whether it's observed or not, revealing itself as either a wave or particle. Faith works in the same way, by knowing and believing that it has already happened. The prayer or belief is point A in this instance, and the result is point B. And regardless of whether you observe how the outcome is reached, it happens. It is belief that is integral. Belief shapes reality. We can agree and conform to certain beliefs like a tree exists, a table is solid, simple things like this. In fact, when more than one person believes in something or an outcome, the power of belief is directly amplified. Even scripture tells us this, according to each belief system. For it's not just a Christian tradition, nor Muslim, nor Judaic, or otherwise. And this is why it is fundamental to understanding our reality. I say again, that what we believe shape our lives and understanding, our very reality, and we, like the humble photon, have the ability to affect an outcome, affect our reality. The very building blocks of the cosmos demonstrate this fantastic, amazing ability. And what's more amazing? is that this fundamental exists in every ounce of our very bodies, our very selves, and everything in the cosmos. We have asked the questions, who am I? What am I? Where am I? Through self-inquiry, which leads us to understand that we are each, each unique perspectives from the universe to observe itself, as well as being a living universe, a conscious cosmos, not being separate from it. Many still do not have the insight that they are a manifestation of the universe, and view themselves as separate beings existing in the universe. They fail to comprehend that they are the universe. It's not their fault, it's just that they have never thought about it. They are accepting of the facts that the light switch will turn on and the light will come on. The kettle will boil, heat will keep them warm. It's only when things are broken, so to speak, that they inspect the parts to repair it, which can lead some along the lines of inquiry. How did the light turn on? Where is the light's energy when it's turned off? How does water boil? How does the central heating keep us warm? So there is always hope that more will come to comprehend their true nature, discover who and where they are, and realize the true nature and reality and how a belief shapes it. In this way, the light of faith itself reveals its majesty.
of this wonderful universe that we exist in. So the question is, what do you believe?